I'm back and uh, this time we're, I'm gonna start a series called the Physics Bootcamp. Uh, this is a class that I created uh, for people who uh, want to challenge the introduction uh, physics course and they want to go on to more advanced physics courses, uh, the calculus based or the trick based version. So this class kind of uh, acts as a bridge between introductory physics or you can call it high school physics and uh, college level uh, physics. So if you have had high school physics and you want to kind of prepare for more, uh, more advanced physics, you would take this course. Or even if you haven't had high school physics and uh, you want to be able to go directly to the more advanced physics and you feel like you can handle it, you would take this uh, uh, boot camp class, uh, physics boot camp we call it, and then you would take a challenge test and then you would test out of introductory physics. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be going over the sample review test that I have for this class and explaining you guys the questions and uh, going over the solutions of how to get the answers. Uh, the tests will usually be a uh, combination of uh, first, uh, it'll be a multiple choice questions and there some of them will be true, false and some of them will be where you have to choose a correct answer and there will be problems that you will work out. So we're going to start right now with uh, the test one review. It's called Physics Bootcamp, test one review, question one. And for a while, we'll be on uh, the multiple choice questions. And then we can move on to the uh, word problems. So question one, first ask us the speedometer of a car measures a what? OK, so what does it measure, a vector quantity or a scalar quantity? Well, to be able to answer these kinds of questions, you have to be able to distinguish between a scalar and a vector quantity. A scalar quantity is a quantity that has only magnitude. Magnitude only, no direction. And the vector quantity is a, mag a quantity that has magnitude and direction, so they always have to be coupled together. Magnitude and direction. So examples of scalar quantities would be such things as speed. When you are saying your speed, you, I'm going at 40 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, you don't care which direction you are going. So speed, example, would be speed, distance. Uh, if you travel a certain distance, you don't really care which direction you have traveled that distance. Time would be scalar quantity. And um, temperature would be scalar quantity because temperature um, does not have direction to it. Okay. In terms of vector quantity, things that have direction by necessity, such as force, right? So if I push something with a certain force, what's going to happen to that object depends on which direction I push the force. So the direction and the magnitude is important to the force. So we can put a vector sign over it. Velocity is a... Vector quantity, um, acceleration is a vector quantity. Both of those need direction to them. So if you're going to state your velocity, you have to say something like, I'm going at 60 miles per hour to the right. I'm going 60 miles per hour from south to north, because you have to state your direction. But speed, you don't have to. So there are many, many more quantities that we can list here as examples of scalars and vectors. So this kind of uh, question, the speedometer of a car measures a, uh, well, speedometer is measuring only your speed, not your velocity. If you turn around, if your car is going this way at 50 miles an hour, and then you turn around and you go the other way at 50 miles an hour, the speedometer doesn't care. All it cares about is your speed. So the answer is scalar quantity. Okay, now let's go to the second question. 